काफी Again, this is just for for driving okay so as you can see this little setup we trying to figure out here I have uh, three of these bike mounts for the top of cars so I'm thinking about mounting these onto the wood here but I like that setup so we can uh, I want to drill these in fork mount and then we can fork mount both bikes put the wheels along here go for a drive they'll be nice and sturdy when we get where we're going especially if it's a safe place we can take them outside. I have um, awesome bike locks. We can lock them together, lock them right to the bumper if we need to. There's so many people, sorry, living out of a van or doing the van life thing, but they can never, not never, but most of the time they don't have bikes. And if they do have bikes, they're not very safe or they're just a pain in the butt to or bring they're with like, them. We've seen a lot of like uh, van channels, like van, YouTube van videos of uh, people actually having to, if they have a sprinter van or something, they have to raise their bed up and have their bikes underneath and everything. When you can use that for storage, if you have this mechanism that we have yeah. thought of. Instead of, yeah, like Sid, Sid and Mackie, for example, I could never roll with your guys' setup. <laughs> because this whole sleeping on top of the, the, the van and having like the back filled with bikes and stuff like that. I just, it's not homey enough for me, but everyone's obviously a little different. And I don't think they're, they're living in there's like full, full time, whereas um, we're gonna be. So we really want to use the space and not feel super cluttered and having to move the bikes constantly to like go to the bathroom, for example, if you're storing them in the bathroom. So it's just gonna get them out of the way, but keep them safe from, from people and elements and keep the mud and dirt outside and uh, get you riding on the road. Also, another thing that we thought of would be getting a generator just in case we're stranded and something happens and we can't start the van because it is kind of old. Sorry, bumpy. It's Alberta. There's lots of potholes and bumps. Um, what I was going to say is Matt's grandpa and his next door neighbor have uh, solar panels. They each have one. Um, so we are thinking about possibly putting solar panels up on the top of the van so that helps us with electricity and everything that we need too. We'll be going back to Vancouver in the fall so we'll still, we'll still have 
have like nice sunny days for maybe a month or two, uh, but then it's going to start getting crappy and raining and everything in November, uh, maybe October. And solar panels do work on cloudy days, but not quite as much. Yeah. So, so having, having two might help. Yeah, and having the generator will help if you know it's not sunny. But we'll be going. We'll probably be staying just until November, maybe end December. of no, yeah, maybe December, mid December or something before we head south to the states. Depends on the actor, how many jobs she can get. I will try my best. We're still going to be heading down to the states Eventually, in, in yeah. the winter time and spend Christmas with Matt's parents in Arizona. So hopefully we'll meet up with some people, ride Sedona and Prescott and Casa Grande Mountain again, which was a great little mountain for a small town. If you haven't been there, check that out. And I get to experience the mountain biking in Arizona for once. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Chunky. Yeah. <laughs> So we just took all these covers off all the cushions because it has a secondary set of co uh, covers that were bought from Ikea and kind of like glued and sewed on. So we're just going to wash those, throw these in the garbage because they're probably full of, you know, 45 years of dust. So we're going to just cancel that and... They're a pain in the ass to take off. And yeah, we would have thought about keeping them, but as we were unzipping it, the zipper was just falling apart because it's 45 years old. So these are going in the garbage. We'll put the new, fresh, clean covers on and uh, we're gonna go start cleaning out the van a little bit more. Ontario for my family reunion and maybe Sam's friend will come down to visit Becca um, we'll drive a couple hours to come visit Sam and we'll probably do some videos in my parents camper so we'll be doing maybe some cooking videos with my mom because she's an all-star cook as well and we're taking the states way so it should only be a couple of days yeah three or four days and then we'll be camping at family houses and stuff like that for two and weeks and then we're weeks. flying back to Edmonton hopefully we are hoping and praying that the van is all up and running and functional and registered by the 16th or 17th yes. of July yes. so we can leave and go I'm trying to get as much riding as we can in here you'll see a couple of videos of that I'm sure um, it's just hard the, the sorry the uh, the with working we're working like nine to five at the brewery and then when we're done we're with kinda, our arms in the air yeah painting, painting. we're kind of tired um or like the weather hasn't been too too great or it's been extra hot the mosquitoes are ridiculous we're not used to the mosquitoes here 
Just because in Vancouver, there's, like, no mosquitoes. And uh, it's, yeah, so you can't, especially for Sam, she it's like just... I... <laughs> um, go ahead. To stop for breaks every time she has to stop on like a hard climb or something yeah. or gets stuck on a root or a rock. She has to hop off the bike and it's like instant. It, they just instant. Swarm you me. get swarmed and you're like wiping mosquitoes off you trying to hop I'm back on your bike down. and get going and she's like not used to that yet like hopping on the bike and just start going like well, yeah. My so they're all over you. Exhausted. Another thing Edmonton has is these little green little worms that like float down on a spider web mm -hmm. and you're like running through them so you just have all these yeah. green, worms like green worms all, all over you, you. <laughs> it only lasts disgusting. about a week but, but they're, they're hanging everywhere so you're just riding yeah. into these worms you can actually stop and listen and it sounds like it's raining and that's actually the worms touching down on the on the on the ground not right now that's actual rain <laughs> but that's the sound but that's the sound <laughs> And it's uh, it's kind of eerie and weird seeing this forest of worms. But we're gonna stop talking now because this is gonna get long. But we'll chop, chop and screw this. This is really good. Yeah, this watermelon stuff. I've been drinking it for a few years. It's excellent. It, I Tastes can't, like I a can real watermelon. Taste no sugar or anything in it. It's about thirty. Coming at you. More videos. <clears throat> well, watermelon's full of sugar. Yeah, there's like no vitamins. We'll uh. Anyway, I'll take a few pictures and videos tomorrow with Jason talking about the van and if you guys have any tips on maintaining an old 70s van right oh, right there. Well, there, it is. there she is lofty um, let us know down below any issues that maybe you encountered or any uh, tips and tricks for solar uh, we're probably gonna have to put a new battery or two batteries in one in the back one in the front hook up the solar it has an inverter already and then we're like I said, probably going to get a generator as well. So any tips on electricity from anybody else who does lots of filming <clears throat> and camera work, let us know down below. Any uh, tips in general for, you know, living on the road and like yeah, to make storage. life a little easier. Do you guys have any problems with like rodents or bugs in your campers? Like, is that something we really need to worry about or yeah. is it kind of like overhyped? Ticks, ants, rats, mice, whatever. Um, you never know. You guys, some of you guys will know better than we do, yeah. and some of you guys Might, may never like, even want to live in a van, and yeah. you just like watching these videos. So it'll be a learning curve, and we'll film every bit of it. Yeah, and uh, we'll get out there and get her done, and we'll see you guys soon. If you guys live in BC or in the mountains, and you want to link up and you know have a fire, Sun if there's no fire ban, um, you know, hop in a lake, go for some mountain bike or local hikes in your area. Let us know. I was going to say for fire bands, but we're going to talk about that later. Fire bands, uh, yeah. Send us a message on here or Instagram. Mm -hmm. Adventures with Lofty on Instagram. Yeah, and uh, we'll meet up and maybe like have a dinner or something. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll all cook you guys a dinner. Yeah, even if... Even if you're not a vegetarian, maybe you'll uh, we cook some tasty stuff up. So oh, we do. It's good to good to eat healthy once in a while, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep.